Now many of you have seen my review of the X8 Apex tire inflator from Fantic. Uh, as you may know, I'm very impressed with it. I carry it on my Goldwing. Well, I just got something new in from Fantic, and I'm really anxious to see how this is going to work. This video is sponsored by Cruiseman's Garage Honda Goldwing Maintenance Video Series. Hey everybody, welcome back to Cruiseman's Reviews. Today I've got the Fantic NEXL1 electric screwdriver. Now hang with me for a second. You may be wondering, why am I reviewing an electric screwdriver? Well, I'm going to tell you in a minute why I'm interested in this product. But first, we're going to unbox it. Now, there are a lot of electric screwdrivers on the market. It's not a new concept. But there's something that this has in particular that I'm interested in. And we'll get into that in a second. So let's unbox this thing. Okay, how do I get into this? So they start off telling you some good information here. And uh, let me just give you a rundown of some of the features of this electric screwdriver as we open this up. Boy, they really did take some time to package this. They give you a little, a little, I think that's a magnet. Kind of interesting. Let's see. It sure is. Look at that. Pretty cool, huh? Okay. Uh, nice manual. <laughs> very uh, comprehensive. Of course, it's in 700 different languages, but still, it's a pretty nicely done manual. And a very interesting little carrying case. So let's put the box off to the side for now. Get down to the real business end of this. Let's pull it out here. It is. It feels very solid. It does have, it already has um, some power, you know, uh, battery power. Uh, you can see there's a little LED light in the end. That's a nice feature. And it has, uh, just let me tell you a little bit about the specs or some of the features that this has. It's variable speed drill. It also has adjustable torque, which I find is kind of interesting. And there's a little digital LED up here on the top. And as you push this button, you're actually able to set the torque setting from 1 through 6. And my understanding is the torque will range from about 1 half Newton meter all the way up to 5 Newton meters. So that's a neat feature. You don't see that. And I believe this these little dots under here are probably how much battery life remains. There's also a second rubber button back here that I think lets you change the direction. Yeah, so it reverses uh, either forward or reverse for the uh, screwdriver. And of course, it comes in the kit. You can see it comes with a variety of different tips. It comes with several different Phillips, or I'm not sure if one of these is JIS or not. It probably is. But certainly, uh, at least I'd say four different Phillips plus an extended Phillips. If you need to, you just basically pop this bit in here. And what's cool is it locks in place. When you put a bit in, this little, this little collet, uh, actually, you can hear it lock. There's a name for this. I think they call it a shark bite or something. And then to release the bit, you pull out on the collet and the bit will come out. It comes with this durable case. They have a 24-month warranty on this unit. And one thing I really like is that it is a USB-C rechargeable. Now, some people prefer replaceable batteries, but this thing has a Samsung battery in it. It's pretty heavy duty. Why would I carry this on my motorcycle? Hang with me for a second while I run out to the garage and grab something, and I'm going to show you why. Very unprofessional. I'm not so much interested in this as a screwdriver. I'm interested in this as a drill. Oh yeah. Now we're talking. Now, let me explain why I would like to use this as a drill. And this is a feature they don't even talk about on their website. 
But this is a standard hex shank. And they make drill bits of all different sizes in these standard quarter inch hex shanks. So this fits, as would any aftermarket bits you might purchase, into this unit. Many of you may know that I carry a portable drill with me when I travel on a road trip. Just in case I have a flat tire or a puncture and I need to plug the tire, I carry a Bosch portable drill with me. It does a great job because I'd rather use a drill to ream out that hole to put in a rope plug as opposed to using that little hand reamer that comes in the typical tire repair kits. If you've ever tried laying on your side on the ground and using one of those reamers to ream out a hole in a thick rear tire of a Honda Goldwing, you have no leverage in that position, so it's very, very difficult to ream out the tire. Much easier if you have a drill and you just drill out the hole and then put in your plug. That's what I'm hoping, I'm hoping this unit will do because I like the fact that it has this nice little case, but this is much lighter and much easier to pack on my motorcycle than that Bosch portable drill. And the Bosch portable drill does a great job, don't get me wrong, but it may be overkill for what I need. And the Bosch drill, to recharge the battery, you've got to have the AC charger back at home. Uh, this one I can recharge USB-C, but the question is, will this have enough power to let me actually drill out a hole in a back tire on a Honda Goldwing? So, let's get to the garage. So first I'm going to drill a little pilot hole. I've just put this small bit into this screwdriver and it goes right in like butter. I just have it on torque setting number one. So it doesn't take really that much torque for that little uh, pilot hole to go through there. And that just to kind of simulate a puncture hole from a nail or maybe even a screw. I'm going to draw a little circle around this just to make it a little easier to see. Now I've put in a little bit larger bit and I've gone up to torque level number two and I'm just going to ream this hole out a little bit more. This will not be the final size. So after I had a puncture, I would probably go to this size hole first and then I'm going to step up to a one quarter inch bit and that probably is going to be big enough to seal most punctures. Okay, I'm going to step up to level four torque and we're going to go now with a quarter inch hole and as you can hear it uh, goes right through no problem for this little portable screwdriver to drill out that hole now as you watch me complete my sticky rope plug tire repair i'm going to say this was a huge success i've been looking for a lighter version of a portable drill and this portable screwdriver the NEX L1 from Fantic is going to be the perfect companion uh, for my motorcycle road trips and just in case you forget this is also a screwdriver let's go to level four and let's see if we can screw into sheet metal with a little sheet metal screw this is on my garage door, just a little piece of thin sheet metal, aluminum. No problem. I can easily reverse it using this button right here. You can see I'm reversing the direction and we can uh, remove it, hopefully. I'm gonna go down to level one and see if I can get the torque to engage yeah it just stops when it gets to that level of torque the drill just stops it doesn't make a, a sound it just stops turning this will very easily fit in my saddlebag little carrier you can see it fits right in there put in my sticky ropes I can put in my needle nose pliers. These are all the tools that I would need in the event of a flat all in one convenient place. Much lighter 
much easier than what I had before. And of course, I can easily fit my drill bits down in there as well. So that's my review of the Fantic NEX. I don't know if it's NEX or NEX, but that's my review of the, I'll call it the NEX L1 portable electric cordless rechargeable screwdriver slash drill. Now, if you're interested in this product, it comes in a variety of colors. Uh, I'm going to put a link in the description of this video where you can order this directly from Fantic, or you can also order it through Amazon.com. I'll put both links in the description of this video. Hey, if you enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe, and I will see you on the next Cruise Man's Reviews.